joining date, date of birth, credit date, expiration date. We always deal with a lot of dates in any business. Most of the tables which we create would end up having at least a couple of date fields. In this offering, we are going to see how to work with dates in BigQuery. When working with dates, the first thing which comes to our mind is finding out today's date. For finding out today's date, we have a function in BigQuery, which is the current date function. So if I give select current date, it would print today's date, which is 9th of August. Now to this current date, I can also pass an argument, which is a time zone for which you want to find the date. For example, if I pass America Los Angeles as a time zone, it would print the date in America Los Angeles, which is coming as 8th of August. So now we have uh, found out how to print the current date. Next, we would be interested in how to construct a date object. For constructing a date object, we have the date function. So the date function accepts an argument, integer argument of year, month, and date. So this is one way of constructing the date from three integers. Another way would be to pass a string here, which would be of the format of year, month, and date. So this would again construct the date object for you. Now, if you want to construct the date from a string like of the format, say year date, month slash year, the date function won't work because it doesn't understand this syntax. Now, if you want to construct dates from strings like this, we have a function called parse date parse date. Uh, as you can see, it accepts two arguments, which is the format string and the date string. So for the format string argument, uh, we need to pass a, a string. So let me pass percentage E slash percentage M slash percentage Y. Now if I run this, it constructed the date object. Now you can go through the various format elements available in this documentation. I would provide this documentation in the description. So we have constructed the date object. The next thing which would be of our interest would be to print the date object in various formats. For that, we have the format date function let us see how format date works. So format date accepts two argument. The first argument is the format string and the second argument is the date object. Say so suppose you have a requirement to print the date from a date object. We can use the format string percentage A here and pass a date object here, say 2022-0101. Now if I run this, it would print what is the day of 1st of January, which was a Saturday. We can experiment this and try changing the format string. Say, let us say I pass percentage A, percentage B, percentage D, and say percentage Y. Now if I pass the format string like this, it prints the date in the format of Saturday, comma January 01, 2022. So as is the case of parse date, you can pass any of these format strings which are available. While working with dates, it would be required to extract parts of the date like a day, month, 
or even the week or quarter. For extracting the parts of the date, we have a function called extract. So let us see how extract works. I have a small table here of dates and I will try to extract parts of the date. So I will do select date and extract function. And you need to say which part of the date you wanted to extract. Say I want to extract from the day from the date. So if I do this, it would print the day part from the date. I can also extract a week or even the quarter from the date. So let me change the labels. So you can see that it printed one one. So just because both of all these dates fall on the first week of the first quarter. The next thing which we will look into is that some date arithmetic. For example, if you want to add some days to a date or some months to a date, how will you do it? So for that, we have this function date add. So select date add. So the date add accepts two arguments, the date and the interval. Say suppose I wanted to add five days to a given date. I will pass the given date first, 2022-0101. And I will pass the interval of five days. If I run this, it would print 6th of January as the output. So in the same way, I can also change it to say five week, which would print the date after five weeks of 1st of January, which is the 2nd, 5th of February. Or I can change it to a month. Or I can even add, say, quarter. Which took it to the 1st of April. Like add function, we also have uh, the sub function, which is the subtracting from a given day. Say, I can say interval of three days. So this took the date to 29th of, of uh, December 2021. Now the next function we will look into is the date diff function, date diff. So as uh, the name indicates, it takes the difference between two dates and uh, the date part will tell how do you want to take the diff, whether you want the diff in days or months or weeks, etc. So, so let me pass two dates here. So date of uh, 2022-12-31 and date of 2021-12-01 and I would say I want the difference in days. Now this printed uh, 395 days as a difference between the December 1st 2021 to December last of 2022. We can also change this to quarter. So which printed uh, four quarters or we can even take the diff in terms of week which uh, printed the weeks next we are going to see the date trunk function let us see what the date trunk function does so date trunk takes two arguments the date and the date part 
So let us pass a date first. The 2022-08-21 and I pass the date part as year. So when I do this, it printed the output as the 1st of January. Now if I change it to say quarter, it took to the 1st of July. So what date trunk does is it takes the date, given date to the beginning of the date part. If you are giving a quarter, it takes you to the beginning of the quarter. If you take, if you give it as a year, it takes to the beginning of the year. Or if you give it as say a week, it would take you to the beginning of the week. So for the week of uh, 21st August, 21st August is a Sunday. So that is the beginning of the week. But if I have given say this as 23rd, it would print. 21st August as the beginning of the week. The same way as we have date trunk, we also have a function called last day. So as the name indicate, the last day function takes you to the last end of the period. So if I do this, it would take you to the end of the week. If I pass year, it would pass to the end of the year of 2022. 